booby trap. for a romantic historical adventure series. People disappear all the time. With some time travel thrown in. Disappearances after all, with explanations. Usually. It's called Outlander, a surprise hit for Stars TV, now coming to the end of its second season. <laughs> Katrina Bell plays Claire, an English battlefield nurse who travels to Scotland with her husband, Frank, at the end of World War II. Coming upon a mystical portal, she finds herself hurled 200 years into the past, 1743 to be exact, the Scottish clans plotting rebellion against British forces. Claire is, in a way, the audience. You know, she is the eyes that they see the rest of the story through. Captain Randall is expecting Mr. Speechum to be delivered to him tomorrow. Compelled for her own safety to marry a handsome young Scot, she finds herself falling in love. Welcome. Ah. Welcome to Lollybrook. Ah, Laird Fraser's bedroom. Ah, uh, yes, the master bedroom, the, the blue room. And, uh... Yes, it's a very uh, special place. Yes, I, I would say so. When you meet Sam Hewitt, yeah. Amy Fraser, and what can I do for you, Mr. Speechum? It's not hard to see why she falls hard. <laughs> they don't always see eye to eye. He is from the past, he has his own moral code, she's from the future, and, uh, you know, certainly thinks in a different way. So they're constantly banging heads when, when they come to the, these moments, but they they have that love for each other and they, they discuss it and eventually work out that that it takes the relationship forward and makes them ultimately closer. He didn't understand it all, but he listened. Not only do you have this, this incredible love story at the heart of it, but, you know, there's an awful lot about what home means to people, you know, being displaced, how does that change your life how do you find home within a new land i mean i think that's something that people today can really relate to another thing to relate to the 18th century costumes designed by terry dressbox the wedding dress this metal embroidery here is the way they would have done it then this is done with silver actual silver plate and it's a, a technique of embroidery that hasn't been used in over a hundred years. But uh, now, like under here, we shaved a million sheets of mica to, to catch light. Incredible. I think it was about 69 pounds. I couldn't move too much in the dress, but uh, it, was, it was really beautiful, yeah. Did we mention Claire and her young Scottish husband have great sex? No, <laughs> come on, you can ask about the sex. Okay, yeah, yeah, is the sex really that good? <laughs> <laughs> I would say, it's a, well, of course, but I mean, it's like, it's, the, it's, it's what you do to the rest of us out there, you make it look so good. Well, if only you knew all the crew that were standing in the room at the same time. <laughs> the theme of Outlander is love, you know, this is a, a love story, and it's, you know, the power of love, what love can accomplish. Diana Gobbledum, who lives not in Scotland, but in Scottsdale, Arizona, is writing her ninth book in the best-selling Outlander series. How many books have you sold now? 26 million, last count. I mean, as far as you can count, they're published in 42 countries in 38 languages. She published the first 25 years ago. I'm telling what it takes to be married for 50 years, because I've never seen anybody do that before. And do it well. You know, marriage could do you all some good. Jamie and Claire's love story will range the world over, but its roots are in Scotland, Jamie Fraser's home. It's been great to come back to Scotland and rediscover the country that I grew up in and, and, and understand what it is I love about it. And I realized that a great deal of it is the landscape and the culture and the people. Overlooking that landscape is Doom Castle, just outside of Edinburgh. It sits in for Castle Leoch. 
Leoch. Leoch. Yeah, that's it. You've got it, mate. <laughs> yeah, this would be, this is Colm's castle. Gary Lewis plays Colin McKenzie, powerful head of the McKenzie clan, shrewd, well-read, and hobbled by a rare disease. He studies history as much as he can, and he tries to learn the lessons, lessons which have taught him that without outside help, we cannot defeat a stronger power. And yet, the small, rugged band of hardy Scots will fight bravely against overwhelming odds. This is my favorite part. This is the, the armory. Filled with dirks and daggers, swords and muskets. Three, two, one, fire. Oh, man! <laughs> Woo! It will just be like lying in that ditch again. But at the center of it all is the time-traveling Claire, a modern woman struggling with the painful knowledge that the Scottish Rebellion is doomed. We know what will happen if the Jacobites lose the war. But, but what if they win? One thing we do know. Allow me to present my wife. Jamie and Claire's love story is far from over. I promise, whatever happens, you'll never be alone again. You have my word, Claire Fraser. In the 